Recently, Vivo announced the first phone with an in-display fingerprint sensor, which means that you can touch the screen and lock your phone just like that with no need for a separate reader anywhere else in the phone. This week at Mobile World Congress, Vivo is taking that idea to the next level. So this is a concept phone called Apex, and the big thing with Apex is that the in-display fingerprint scanner is way bigger. Vivo calls it a half-screen scanner. Uh, it's not quite half the screen, but it's still pretty big. About this area here, the size of the screen, it's, it's all an in-display fingerprint scanner. You can put your finger right on the screen, and it unlocks the phone. So why do you want a fingerprint scanner inside the screen? Well, modern phones, the bezels around the screen are getting a lot smaller. And these are probably the smallest I've seen on any phone. Uh, around, these, around these three sides, it's 1.8 millimeters, and this is 4.3. So the whole reason to have a fingerprint scanner inside the display is to enable uh, these kind of skin, skinny, thin bezels that we're seeing on modern smartphone designs. Uh, you can, of course, just put the fingerprint reader on the back, but a lot of people prefer to have it on the front. So a bezel is designed with an in-display fingerprint scanner lets you get there. So without bezels around the screen, where do you put the selfie camera? Uh, well, Vivo has a pretty neat solution for that, actually. Um, so the regular cameras are on the back, as you'd expect. But if you want to take a selfie, you switch the camera. And uh, this cute little guy pops up. It makes, a, it makes a bit of a noise, and it takes about a second to pop up, like a little bit less. Uh, but it's, it's kind of cute. It's a neat solution. So another thing that Vivo has to find space for on a phone without any bezels is the earpiece speaker for phone calls. Uh, there's a regular speaker at the bottom of the phone, but if you want to make phone calls, uh, you have to make use of Vivo's screen technology where they actually vibrate the screen itself to make it uh, usable as an earpiece. I'm listening to a demo call now. It sounds okay, it's not the world's most incredible sounding earpiece, but it, it does the job. So there's no pricing or release date or anything like that for the Apex. It's completely a concept. Vivo is not committing to releasing it on the market in any form. That being said, as a concept, it does seem pretty plausible and everything seems to work. You know, the earpiece speaker, the selfie camera are both neat solutions. Uh, the, the fingerprint sensor itself is pretty effective. It's not quite as fast as the traditional one, but it, it does work. Uh, as to where things could go after this, um, Vivo has said that it wants to reduce this bezel even further. Vivo says that uh, if it could get this one down to 1.8 millimeters, it would be over 98% screen to body ratio. And uh, the company thinks that at that point, you could truly call it a bezel less fun. Um, so all of this seems like fairly plausible at this point in time. It is a concept, but I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, the things like the uh, half display fingerprint sensor and, you know, the pop-up selfie camera appear in phones over the next year or two. Well, uh, Vivo has thought of that, and uh, there you go. <laughs> it was on the, it was already on the other camera. I didn't have a, it ruined my dramatic reveal. <laughs> uh, if you open the camera, ah, it was <laughs> safe. <the> normal. <laughs> Why? <laughs>